More than 6.7 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. Memory loss is often the first sign of Alzheimer's disease, but decades before, people begin to fade away and their brain starts to show signs of changes. Breakthrough Research looks at how one gene may be the key to early diagnosis, and Maureen Halliday has those details. Actor Chris Hemsworth is known in the movies as the indestructible Thor, but in real life, even the strongest can be struck down by debilitating diseases. Researchers believe the APOE gene is important in laying down myelin, which is a protein that insulates neurons in the brain. You happen to be lucky and get an E2 form of it. You have slightly protection against Alzheimer's disease. Um, and if you have this one that's an E4 polymorphism, your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease goes up about fourfold if you have one copy and about 12-fold if you have two copies of this gene. Researchers want to know what it is about this gene that's leading to an elevated risk. The first domino that falls is this protein called amyloid begins building up in the brain. And this is a slow progression. You can see the progression of plaque over a decade. And by learning why some people are protected and some are not could lead to new treatments to stop the progression of the disease before any signs or symptoms appear. I'm Maureen Halliday reporting. Thank you, Maureen. The research also shows that there is a difference between men and women when it comes to how the APOE gene impacts them. For men, APOE3 and APOE4 gene didn't have a huge effect on their symptoms, while in women, it did. That may be the reason researchers believe men seem to sh show signs sooner, and although women's symptoms may appear later, the symptoms seem to strike stronger and women decline faster.